my name is Mac and welcome back to highlights from the permanent collection here at the Dishman Art Museum. We have been closed for a few weeks due to the winter break, but we're excited to be back in the museum and for what's coming up in the future. On January 23rd, the Dishman will reopen to the public with our COVID-19 guidelines still in place with our first exhibition of the year featuring pieces specifically from the permanent collection. Lucky for us, many of these pieces will be featured in our videos and you can come visit them in person if you feel comfortable. First up is one of my favorite LU alums, John Alexander, and not one, but two pieces of his that are featured in our newest exhibition. John Alexander was born right here in Beaumont, Texas in 1945. He attended Lamar University where he received his BFA in 1968. For the first time in his life, he moved away from Southeast Texas to Dallas, Texas to attend Southern Methodist University where he received his MFA in 1970. Upon completing his graduate degree, he moved to Houston. He established a studio and became a member of the art faculty at the University of Houston. In the late 1970s, John Alexander moved away from Texas to New York City. John Alexander remains a great supporter of Lamar University hosting lectures, classes, and even visiting from time to time. In 2015, the LU Department of Art and Design dedicated the painting studio in his honor and renamed it the John Alexander Painting Studio. Many pieces by Alexander can be seen publicly on campus, multiple house in the halls of the John Gray Building. Alexander's thick use of paint remains as a unifier, no matter the subject and his work continues to have a deep influence from the southern bayous, swamps, and wetlands of Texas and Louisiana, despite him not living in this area for nearly 40 years. He has said, even when in New York City, he would turn back to southeast Texas for inspiration again and again, like many artists from this area tend to do. Although he is best known for these themes of nature, Alexander has satirical pieces that incorporate current political climate and environmental issues, which he cares deeply about. Quoting an article from an LA newspaper that Alexander often refers to himself, Alexander paints nature at its best and man at his worst. These two pieces, the larger titled Coronation of the Kingfish and the warm-toned titled Robbing Peter to Paul Pay, are both representations of Alexander's unique style, although one more chaotic than the other, and show pieces of the evolution from his career. Here's a quote from John Alexander himself. I wanted to make art so powerful that it would evoke the same kind of emotional response that people get from a religious experience. I don't know if that's possible, but I'm going to keep trying. John Alexander is the 2013 recipient of the Guild Hall Lifetime Achievement Award. He is in many popular museums' permanent collections, including the Met, the Smithsonian American Art Museum, the Museum of Contemporary Art in LA, MFA Houston, as well as many other public and private art collections. Thank you for joining us for our first episode of 2021. We hope you continue to return to learn about more pieces that will be on display in our first exhibition of the year opening on January 23rd. See you next time.